Welcome back, everybody. So today we have a top 10 worst Atari games that I've ever played on this channel. I will have the grades posted up on somewhere on the screen. Remember, these are my grades that I gave it. It's not based off reviews or stats or anything like that. It's just what I personally gave it. So let's go. Let's go ahead and get that started. At number 10, Kool-Aid Man. I mean, I didn't know what I was doing. I was bouncing around as a Kool-Aid man or doing whatever I was, pouring Kool-Aid. I, I had no clue what was going on. At number nine, E.T. Now, this game was pretty bad. It wasn't as bad as Kool-Aid Man because you kind of could win. But this one, I just didn't know what to do. I was just walking around, wandering, and falling through pits. I, I had no idea what was going on. So, yeah. At number eight, Real Sports Baseball. Now, I think this was worse than E.T. because this one frustrated the shit out of me because I knew what I was doing. I knew what to do, but I just couldn't hit the ball for shit. I mean, I couldn't do anything, and so it made me frustrated as hell because it just did not work. Once again, I mean, I think I'm, I'm being, uh, I think I'm doing it wrong on all these games. I really do, but still. At number seven, Star Master. Now, this one wasn't, a, like, bad looking, but the thing is, I didn't know where, what I was doing. Like, I was just wandering through space. Like, that's all it was. I mean, maybe I did something wrong, but once again, if I can't understand it just by putting the game in and playing it, then this game is not going to, you know, be able to be good to me. Like, you have to be able to just be able to pick it up, play it, get a little story out of it, or kind of like, have an understanding and just get you know, to it. Yeah. At number six... Sword Quest Earthworld. Now, this one I can give it some slack. The fact that it's the first one of its series, and you know, like a lot of people were going to it because of the fact of the grand prize and things like that back in the 70s, you know, or 80s, or whenever this, uh, you know, this game came out. So I can understand that. But I didn't, you know, grow up at that time. I wasn't there. So this is just a game to play and have fun. So, you know, I, I couldn't understand it. There was just nothing to it, and it's just, it was so bad. At number five, Sword Quest Fireworld. Now this one, it had chances to get better than the first one, and it didn't. I felt like this one was a lot worse. I just, I really didn't know what the hell I was doing. This one was just everywhere. I, I don't know. At number four, Wizard. So like I said, like when I was in there, you saw I was just shooting like a wand blast. I don't even know what the hell I was doing. But I, it just, it was so bad I didn't understand it at all. At number three, Tatankam. Once again, with this one too, I was in a little path. I ran fast and I had a gun. And when I would shoot the monster, that was all I knew what to do. That was it. Shoot the monster and then I would die, like, die right after. I had no idea. At number two, Superman. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, you if you've watched that video, you saw me fly up and down and whatever the hell... I, I don't even know what the hell was going on. The only reason why this one is not number one is that at least I was able to walk around. I had no fucking clue what I was doing, though. Not one bit. I mean, the fact that you can see in the next screen blew my damn mind, but I had no idea what to do. And at number one, Streller Track. Now, the only reason why this was number uh, one is because it was... Uh, typing game or one of those command games where you you know got to tell them what to do next and I had no idea what to do and I was just going to the next one and doing the next thing and so to me I was completely lost I didn't know what to do and there's no gameplay to it it's just telling the thing what to do like to to type it or whatever so that's the only reason why that was number one just the fact that it really wasn't a game so that was my top 10 you guys I mean, if you agree, please, you know, give me a heads up on what you guys hated the most out of all that. Or if you guys like them, if you guys do and like some of these games, give me a heads up. If you guys agree with what I, uh, my top 10 worst games are, tell me, you know, I, I'm, I want to listen. I want to hear what you, your guys' thoughts are. So um, before I end this video and all that, uh, I was going to upload today and Wednesday my Twitch videos from, you know, my Twitch stream from Fridays and Saturday. But uh, Twitch is not working right now. It keeps telling me that my YouTube account is not linked up to my Google. So I can't actually upload 
my videos to uh, uh, to YouTube right now. So if anything, since I will be gone next week, so you won't have any video next week, actually, um, I will upload uh, the Twitch videos if I can next week instead. So go ahead and uh, um, watch out for that. I mean, don't think that, like I said, uh, um, the Twitches are gonna, Twitch videos are going to be up today, but next week you'll be able to have that. Uh, Wednesday, we're going to do a top 10 or top 10 best video. Sorry. I'm making sure I'm not uh, repeating myself. So a top 10 best uh, videos or best Atari games that I have. So uh, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. We are the dreamers of dreams.